now it's time to look into using variables so variables enable you to store and reuse values in postman by storing a value as a variable you can reference it throughout your collections environments requests and test scripts variables help you work efficiently collaborate with teammates and set up dynamic workflows so what we are going to do here so we'll understand variables then variable scopes variable types and defining variables using variables and sharing and persisting that variable data and if there is anything we are going to look into we'll do the uh, we'll take example for each and every uh, task so let's begin with uh, a quick start uh, with variable so for that i'll get into my postman yep so first what we have to do is we have to select the environment by quick look icon this is called the quick look icon let me zoom it let me bring it here the right most and here you should see that quick look icon environment quick look icon okay so environment quick look like icon so let me click on this quick look icon in a workbench so it will take you to two variables okay so what i'm gonna do is so here next to the globals we have environments and then globals next to the globals i will click on select edit and so here i am gonna add my variable so i'll say first where this is my first variable and then a value is hello or Welcome to API Universe. Okay, that's the value. So let me click and current value will keep same and let me click on save. Then that's it. It's been saved. Then I can close this tab. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, so we have created one example, uh, sorry, we have created one variable. Now we can quickly get into our, uh, we can quickly get into our collections and we will request, uh, uh, we will use this variable in our collection. Okay. So let me close this environment and okay so right yeah let me keep it like that so here is that workbench we move to the workbench now so now we are in unknown unknown uh, planet call so in that okay so i'm going to create one new request i'll save this request as the variable rec and then i will attach to the unknown planet call itself so i'll save it to there so what i'm going to do is i'll take the post method okay so I'll copy this and I'll use it here, paste it. So what I'm going to do is I'll say post. Yeah, this is fine post and here will the method I'm going to select post. So let me scroll down a bit more and uh, the parameter I'm going to give uh, using variable. Say, uh, value uh, sorry key i'm gonna say greeting greet and value i will attach that variable 
you should see that once I open the two curly braces let me zoom it A response yeah so once I open two curly braces it has auto populated the variables that are there inside this so there are a lot of variables you see that let me scroll down all those things variables and you see a lot of variables lot of variables but we are not worried about all the variables so, so the first variable that we have here is the recent ones that we have created that's on top the name of that variable is first var so let me click on this directly so that's it the variable has been attached so now let me send a request by the time let me bring it up yeah let me send a request so the request has been sent and it's successful and you should you should see that key is great and welcome to api universe let's do a let's do a small modification in that so again get into the same icon and click on this edit option and click on this this is initial value so you can change this the current value welcome i'll attach d welcome to the api and click on save that's the initial value it's the new value and let's get back to the request so now again we'll send a request so it's gone with the initial value itself so that's what i just want to tell you we have to do we have to edit we have to change the value inside the initial value so now let me click it and select uh, edit option and change the value welcome to the universe and persist all yes it's done then save it again and come back to our request and click on send a request and here is that welcome to the api universe okay that's how we can use a variable inside this so with that we should now we will understand more about the variables a variable is a symbolic representation of data that enables you to access a value without having to enter it manually wherever you need it so this can be useful if you are using the same values in multiple places variables make your requests more flexible and readable by abstracting the detail away so for example so what will we do is we will uh, take one a request base url and then on top of that we'll attach a few mm, okay few endpoints and we'll use it so for that uh, i'm gonna create a, a <coughs> sorry i'm gonna create a variable so the value of that variable would be a base url so that okay first i will create a variable so click edit on global level i'll add a new variable and this i'll say base url so and the value default i'll keep it the value is uh, rec I'll copy the value okay this is a request let me know sending request URL yeah I'll copy this exactly so this is my base URL and come back here edit again base URL paste it here and tab tab click on persist all and okay remove this this is not required yeah that's it so let me save this done it's been saved now let's uh, get back to our uh, unknown planet uh, unknown planet uh, collection so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new collection and saying the collection name is uh, 
यूनिवर्स वेरिएबल्स यूनिवर्स वेरिंग ओके सो आई एंटर सो दिस इज अ न्यू कलेक्शन which do not have anything i'll click on add a request to start working on so so i'm going to give the name first is list users so that's what the end point that's what the api call that we're going to give so list users yes that's it it's done so now simply i'll mention the variable name so we got that so you see base url initial value is this current value is this i'll click on this base url and then i'll say forward slash and list url so here i'll say api endpoint and uh, endpoint path api users and uh, i'll put the question mark uh, to add a parameter so i'll say page is the parameter and value is 2 that's it let's send a request and here is the response brilliantly so to make it simple in spite of the complication we have removed all the complication just we are mentioning mentioning the variable and then whatever the endpoints that you we want to use we can use it so you can see the response this is one response and similarly we'll create a second request here so let me add a request to this directly and the name of the request this time i'll go for the single user single user so again base url forward slash i'll go the single user i'll say api same endpoint but without parameter api and just say users and forward slash 2 and let's click send and here is the data only you got the id the record of user 2 the record of user 2 you got the record of the user to the employee record of the user 2 similarly we can get the employee record of user 3 and for user 4 also will get it okay and uh, so here also we have used uh, url so and what will we do is we will run one more so this time we will list the resource complete page uh, so let me click on this more actions icon and uh, add a request this time a list a resource and same i'll use the variable base url forward slash api and unknown unknown is the api endpoint unknown and let me send a request and here is the response you see that we got the complete information the complete page without any filtering so complete page 1 Per page six and everything complete information we got it, and uh, we will look into the single resource now. So we'll use the same, and uh, I'll click on this a new request. So name of the request I'm gonna give. I'll say single a resource base URL. forward slash and uh, for the single resource will use the api users sorry api and then unknown but we are going to filter with the specific id so let me this will get the employee with id 2 so if we get the four employee okay you clearly see that so that's how a, a variable uh, makes your life pretty simple so you just mention the variable with the base url and you can keep on adding endpoints of that so that's and 
it's it's pretty good in dealing the things also so you will have a clear cut understanding okay what's the base url and what are the endpoints you will have a clear cut understanding in your in your mind with what you're dealing so that's the that's how it helps a variable helps a lot okay so now we will look into scopes variable scopes okay postman supports variables at uh, different scopes allowing you to tailor your processing to a variety of uh, development testing and collaboration tasks scopes in postman relate to the different contexts that your requests run in so and different variables scopes are suited to different tasks in order from uh, broadest to narrowest we we'll, we have the scope such as a global we can have a global scope variable i'll show you that from here so this is a global scope variable let me zoom it and let me scroll uh, right side yeah i mean okay yeah And let me click here. Yeah, this is our global scope. And uh, after that, we have environment scope here. We can create our environments and specific to that environment, uh, we can use that uh, variables. And we have uh, a collection scope. We can create the variables inside this collection itself. Let me click on this collection and here. You click on the variables and we can create a variable and this can be useful only in the collection wise and uh, we have uh, one more that's uh, uh, data and local okay first we'll begin with the global scope so this is the global scope uh, global variables these are the global variables that we have created enable you to access uh, uh, data between collections requests <coughs> test scripts and environments Global variables are available throughout a workspace. Throughout this workspace. So what's that workspace? Workspace name, API Exploring Universe. So since global variables have the broadest scope available in Postman, they are well suited for testing and prototyping and in later development phases. Okay. So then we have a collection level scopes so collection variables and here is the universe earth collection so collection variables are available available throughout the requests in a collection and are independent of environments uh, uh, collection variables don't change based on the selected environment so collection variables are suitable if you are using a single environment for example for the auth or url details for example what we can do is see <coughs> I'll come to the auth. So there is no auth. Basically, we are not using. So what I'll do is I'll click on basic auth. So I need a username and a password. In spite of writing my username directly and password directly, I'll say username and password. So this is my username and this is my password. Or we'll keep it short. UN and this is pw okay so let me show that it's a pwd okay these are the one so what i'll do is i'll this is a scope level this is collection level scope i'll click on variables i'll create two variables one is username un and initial value is Charon, that's my username and have one more I'll use I'll create PWD and the value is uh, okay so now let me save this let me click on persist all and save this persist all first okay we lost the 
initial value of this and I'll click persist all again one more time yeah it's done then let me save this uh, to our collection so no new changes have been done so persisting all values so now let me get to the authorization so now I will attach that you see that yellow color scope UN so what is UN that's a username and let me add the PWD so what is PWD that's the password you see that it's the password and that's it that's how so these variables are secret data can be hidden so nobody can directly view this or in spite of that we can use a file and then through that file also we can attach so nobody can view the secret data the other users who is working under working in our team who also have access to this app api can't see that that's the main advantage of going with this variables then we have environment variables so environment variables enable environment variable enables you to scope uh, your work to different environments for example le let me click on here so here you see the environment variables so i have created one environment that's a space uh, so for example a local development versus testing or production so one environment can be active at a time if you have a single environment using collection variables uh, can be more efficient but environments enable you to specify role based access levels we can create n number of environments and uh, uh, whichever if you want to use a uh, specific variables you can attach all those variables in that environment and we have to select that environment and whatever variables that we have inside that environment uh, can also can we can view it and we got first where where and this okay so that's all uh, uh, different scope box in addition to that we have a local variables Local variables are temporary variables that are accessed in your request scripts. Let me click on a request, any request. And here you'll see that uh, we can add our local variables directly. Okay. Um, local variables values are scoped to a single request or a collection run and are no longer available when the run is complete. So local variables are suitable if you need a value to override all other variable scopes but don't want the value to persist once execution has ended. So these are the different types of uh, scopes of variables that we have seen so far. So then uh, we will uh, look into two fundamental types of uh, variables. One is a default type and second one is a secret type. Beyond the scope global and environment variables can also be defined by type so the two variable types that you can configure for global and environment variables are default type and secret type so the default type is automatically assigned to values uh, assigned to variables so this type is shown as a plain text and doesn't have extra properties whereas secret type masks the initial and current values for all workspace members and can be used to prevent an intentional disclosure of sensitive data. This is what is important for us, including API secrets, passwords, tokens, and keys. So for that, uh, users with editor access on the workspace uh, for global variables or environment for environment variables can have to change these variables from default to secret type. Okay, let's get into the workbench. Uh, sorry, let's get into that. Uh, uh, quick look icon and then for environment or for global variables we have to select the edit and if you come here so you have types one is default type or secret a default type or secret so the where this is not that uh, def uh, it's not secret one it's not sensitive so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna keep it a similar way so this is also first where is default these are all the default values these are not sensitive i'll keep it like that but what i'm gonna do is i'll create a two more okay this is uh basically global level i can use anywhere so i'll create two more so here i'll say user okay username 
and I'll keep it se secret and the username is Charan let me click on this icon so that I can see at least Charan and after that I'll create one more variable password and I'll say secret again and I'll add password adc3 okay yes the password current value and let me click on persist all and let me save everything done so let's get back to the collection and let's get into the basic auth and scroll down a bit so now let me say username you see that gone username so you have to click on this icon to get it but it will be masked for some time so username and similarly you will have a password password okay this is what the password so this is how we can use a secret or sensitive data using secret files or using a secret method okay then even we can do that we can change uh, uh, from secret to default value just by clicking uh, by changing that uh, from let me show you that also just by changing default pack it will become uh, see it's asking change type as yes. go with it yes it's been changed now I'll put back to the secret yep that's how we do the change and uh, and we can define the variables and few more things so I think this is more than enough uh, for how to handle the variables